One of the most important things we need to focus on with respect to free expression is figuring out what constitutes a culture that values it. Uh, we're pretty fortunate in the U.S. to have relatively robust free expression rights. I mean, there's, there's certainly a need to start defining and grappling with what those rights mean in a digital age as the public square moves online as opposed to in the, the physical arena. And, and certainly philanthropy has a role to play in convening those discussions and grappling with those sticky issues. But more than anything, we're, we're concerned with the degree to which support for free expression rights has been on, on the decline. Um, seemingly the only thing people agree upon these days as we become more and more polarized is that someone needs to be silenced. We just disagree with who uh, should have the right to speak and who shouldn't. Um, I saw a Cato Institute poll on free expression and tolerance this past year that, that really quantified uh, the degree to which folks from the self-identified right and the self-identified left uh, want to censor each other. They just um, folks on the left tend to want to censor uh, more on the basis of, of identity groups and folks on the right tend to censor um, what they view to be obscenity or, or uh, lack of patriotism. You know, one of the things that um, concerns me is when people see tolerance in the acceptance sense as the goal, um, the goal being to arrive at agreement or consensus um, as opposed to learning how to coexist peacefully through difference or to harness the power of difference towards positive social ends like innovation and social progress and the defense of, of equal rights. Um, so what we'd, what we'd like to imagine is a world where you view um, toleration uh, as a, a starting point for something better. Um, we've struggled with the term toleration because it sounds kind of negative. It sounds kind of, I'm holding my nose and I'm putting up with that view that you have, but I'm not really recognizing your dignity, your value as a human, um, and the value that, that we can experience together by coming together in, in dialogue. But if we view toleration as a starting point and start to talk about the positive things that we can accomplish together, if we, if we start to talk about how and why individuals have more opportunity to become self-actualized when they engage with, with people who are different, how they find a more fulfilling and rich life when they are curious and open to new experiences. If we talk about the powerful good that, that diversity drives, talk about stories like, and it's, it's a bit apocryphal, but I heard a story recently about how, you know, the life transforming camera pill that you take to diagnose various illnesses as a concept came together coincidentally because a, a gastroenterologist sat down to lunch with uh, a guided missile expert and came up with this, with this idea. And, and whether it's true or not, I think it is, but whether it's true or not, it's representative of the kinds of amazing things that can come from unexpected conversations, unexpected explorations, having a conversation about what it is we want to accomplish together and having a conversation about how best to get there. Mm -hmm.